Hey guys, welcome to Manifesting Better. I'm back with another video and another topic that needs to be addressed. I also have an Instagram account. The link for that is in the description box below. Coaching is also available. The link for that too is in the description box below. Hey guys, so today I'm actually very happy because um, I'm going to be sharing a success story of one of my long-term clients. I can share only some parts of the story because some information is confidential but i will share the information as much as i can and the lessons that she learned along the way which helped her manifest marriage yes uh, the story is about manifesting a marriage i posted this story a few days ago on my instagram channel and i did get a lot of comments from people that they want a full success story a full video here i will be explaining some of her circumstances some things that we worked on and how she has been working with me on and off for the past 1.5 years and not just for the marriage concept but self-concept love boundaries job i just posted her job success story a few days ago on my instagram too she manifested a job and manifested so many smaller things better relationship with her family better relationship with herself understanding like this has been a total transformation so I will share as many things as I can. I will include all the information that I uh, possibly can include. So take notice, learn from it. And there are a lot of things that you can learn from the story. Okay, so let's understand it. Let me tell you a few things about this girl when she came to me. So she came to me because someone referred her to me. She did not know what manifestation was properly. And that did work in my advantage because a lot of times what happens is I get clients that have taken a lot of information in which can slightly be confusing and misleading so a lot of times there are so there is so much information out there which can be very confusing and because of that the concepts can get slightly blurry right and because of that there can be misinformation too that can be spread and this is not targeting any one person but sometimes yeah a lot of people share information which is not fully correct and because of that sometimes it gets difficult to take that client out of it in the first place right so then there is another step in the journey that first you have to unlearn the things that you have learned and then it's about relearning the things so this client came to me she did not know anything about manifestation her friend recommended her to me and her friend uh, told her about manifestation she had just a basic concept she knew that oh manifestation means you're getting something you're attracting something in your life things like that this person was someone who was very obsessive in relationships, did not have a definition of what a healthy relationship looks like, not at all. Um, had issues with her mother, had mother wounds, have, was a, a people pleaser, did not know what boundaries are. Boundaries means self boundaries and boundaries with the world, which I will explain as I move forward. Did not know what self concept means, how to put herself first. Um, we also worked a lot on non-negotiables which is the topic of my next video what are the non-negotiables of manifesting but we did work a lot on non-negotiables and a lot of work that we did eventually she just recently got the her marriage got finalized she's getting married on december 7th i posted this on my instagram so i don't know if you follow me there so you can see but yeah so let let's just get into her story and how we started and i will take you step by step on what we worked on so first when we started her focus was more on the self-concept part very obsessed person had unhealthy relationships married men um, did not know what healthy relationships were chasing stalking begging things like that right so the first thing that we worked on was i first taught her what the concept of manifestation is and if you want to also learn then you can check i have 223 24 videos so the, i only talk about manifestation so check that out or uh, if you want to personally like learn from me then you can sign up with, for coaching like she did but we did first understand what the concept of manifestation means how the world reflects you how your beliefs what what are beliefs how beliefs are connected to actions how your boundaries matter things like that right so first what we did is we understood what the concept of manifestation means she learned very well has been a good student and as we first started learning the concept of manifestation we started understanding what our core needs what how we get our core needs to just give you a small background what are core needs so core needs are needs that each one of us have and when we don't get an appropriate way to fulfill those core needs we try to fulfill these core needs from other places so let's say my need is companionship or wanting to feel attention but and love right so 
I have never felt love from an appropriate place. Maybe my mother did not love me enough. My father did not love me enough. The friendships people have always rejected me. My sibling was very rude to me. I was bullied as a child, things like that, right? And I did not know what, uh, how to get love, but I needed that affection. So what I started doing is I started sympathizing. I started victimizing myself so that I can get love through sympathy. So there is a core need, but because there is not an appropriate way to fulfill that need, I fulfill that need through some place which is not very healthy for me, right? So this was her somewhere. She did not know what how to fulfill her core needs. So first we understood what our what her core needs were. We worked on that. We worked on how to fulfill them in a better way. So how we did that was we started learning how she can fulfill herself make a life outside of relationships, make a life outside of people and men and things like that. So we worked uh, uh, on her self-concept, her job part. We also worked on making her build her life outside of herself. She started doing a lot of things for herself, hobbies, uh, dressing up, like things which make you feel good and which you eventually do when you get into a relationship and which you think that you will do when you will get into a relationship and then we started doing all these things now so this was a part of our living in the end and we started working on all this as we were working on all this we started she started getting better she started letting go of unhealthy obsessions unhealthy relationships unhealthy patterns a lot of obsession went away as a lot of obsession went away, we got into a place where now she wanted a relationship. She wanted to get married. And this was her desire in the first place. But for her to even start working on marriage, uh, our first focus was to get her into a place where that would be easier to do, where that would be more accessible. It was not about making our manifestation conditional. It was about understanding that if I'm going after a marriage, I also want to enjoy it later, right? I also want to enjoy it in my own life i want that when the marriage comes i feel ready for it i don't feel that i'm just running after a person and i will get to that boundaries part because that's my next point but i i don't always want to feel agitated i don't always want to feel insecure about it so that's something that we first thought would be a better option for us after working on that and uh, just a note if you are someone who's working on all these things that doesn't delay your manifestation you can still get what you want while working on it but you still will have to work on it because you want your manifestations to stay right so coming back to the point as we were working on it we got into a place where we she felt ready to get married things like that and we realized here that she had no clue what a healthy relationship looks like so here we worked on three things first what a healthy relationship looks like defining how a healthy dynamic looks like how men behave in healthy dynamics how women behave in healthy dynamics how uh, in a relationship there are some non-negotiables there are some negotiables so non-negotiables are qualities and values which i won't negotiate on right and which are a big no for me Negotiables are qualities which I would negotiate on, which are okay if we compromise a little bit on it. We worked on that. Then we worked on two kind of boundaries. First were self boundaries. So what are self boundaries? This is something I have covered deeply in my self concept course. Self boundaries are boundaries that we put from towards ourself. These are boundaries that we have to work on. And these are boundaries that when we say we have to do something and it is eventually going to be good for us, we keep doing it. And sometimes we disrespect these boundaries. So for example, if I say I will go to the gym tomorrow and I don't, that's me disrespecting my boundaries. I cannot expect the world to respect my boundaries if I don't do that myself. Then the second boundaries we worked on was her boundaries in relation to uh, men. So she kept chasing multiple texts, running after them, things like that, that had to be prevented. From there, she met this guy who she started to like and she started getting involved in that situation where she wanted a relationship with him and uh, their equation started. But there were safety issues, safety in terms of not feeling safe in relationships, not safety issues otherwise, but safety in terms of not feeling safe in relationships because she was afraid that she did not know how she would act and how she should act because previously how she acted was not working out for her. So this guy she met and how it effortlessly worked out because she had worked on herself was that she met him first they started talking they started chatting and it went to a level where they wanted to like they started flirting and it started tur turning into a situation which can eventually lead to marriage but this is where the guy's mother declined she said no i don't want to get married in that scenario and this guy was also not showing her that kind of a 
attention he was very hot and cold because he was reflecting her to the t she was also hot and cold in her mind she did not know how to appropriately react and respond and she did not know how to be consistent with herself as soon as he was texting her she was getting agitated she did not know how to handle that situation properly so now how the bridge of events worked was very beautiful and how it happened was that we did have a session we talked about it that okay we are not going to chase we are not going to run after it the manifestation should come to me automatically the manifestation should come to me i shouldn't be running after that it should come to me right i shouldn't have to beg for attention and love when i know i'm the prize and that was a part of our self concept work that i know i'm the prize so i'm going to get what i want what started happening is that one day they were supposed to like they were not talking they were not much in contact and this guy had to go back from to his city whatever and eventually his flight got delayed because his flight got delayed they coincidentally they made up a plan to meet that day they met that day and they started getting connected and that is when that guy said that okay i will convince my mother somehow in some way shape or form her mother magically got convinced she magically got convinced and after that this this girl and this guy started communicating they realized that okay this guy's way of love is different this girl's way of love is different they started communicating they started understanding each other's love language and eventually it turned out that they wanted to get married because they felt they were compatible and in love and this is how she manifested that specific person in her life and eventually the mother also agreed and now they are getting like they are already i think engage or something i'm not sure but their date of marriage is fixed it's 7th december for everyone who wants to go just 7th december send your wishes and everything a few things a few takeaways that i would like for you to take here first she did put up boundaries that i will allow the manifestation to come to me but that did not mean that she was not feeling resistant that did not mean that she was not feeling weird about it that did not mean that she was not feeling worried about it it was not that she is not worried it was that even after she was worried she still handled her emotions she still handled her feelings because that's her job that's your job too if you are in that situation and you feel that i am getting resistant so i am doing something wrong getting resistance does not mean that you are doing something wrong secondly when neville goddard also talks about you don't have to lift a finger you don't because you possibly cannot fathom how the bridge of events will go for her the bridge of events was a cancelled flight for you it can be something else right so please don't worry when you are worried about how it will happen the how can be anything the next thing that you have to understand the third point that i will bring up is that the middle part is not fully your job so convincing her mother she could have just put all her attention there convincing his mother she could have put all her attention there but that was not the end goal the end goal was to be married and that was the middle the middle will take care of itself by itself that's not for you to do as long as you keep trying to make it happen and trying to change the middle the middle will always keep taking time to change so focus on the end work on yourself understand that resistance is a normal part of the journey work on the boundaries that you are bringing up work on your core needs work on your self concept don't make manifestation conditional to working on these things but now i'm pretty sure that when this relationship starts she will have appropriate tools to handle everything and even if she doesn't she will come back and we will find tools but she will have a better understanding of how to deal with the whole concept of relationships just because she worked on herself and she understood herself and she was honest with herself she manifested a job she has manifested so many small things she keeps texting me with success stories and you have to understand that it is a lifestyle it's a marathon it's not a sprint i really hope that you enjoyed this success story as much as i did and i would see you guys in the next video click the like button if you like the video subscribe and turn the notifications on for more such content comment down your video suggestions and i will see you guys in the next one